Here's problem 24 8. Two infinite parallel surfaces carry uniform charge densities of 0.2 nanocombs per meter squared and negative 0.6 nanocombs per meter squared, respectively. What is the magnitude of the electric field at a point between the two surfaces? Let's try to imagine what's going on here. We have a positive infinite sheet of charge. And we're told that the surface charge density on this, let's call it sigma 1, is 0.2 nanocombs per meter squared. And then we have a negative sheet of charge. Let me put this in blue. Oh. And the surface charge density on this, let's call it sigma 2, is a negative 0.6 nanocombs per meter squared. Now, if we have an infinite sheet of charge, the E field is going to be constant anywhere um, on either side of the, of the sheet of charge. In the case of the first sheet, it's going to be an E field that's emanating away from this positive sheet of charge. So we'll have some kind of E field, that's called E1, that is emanating away from this sheet of charge. For the uh, second sheet, being negative, it's going to have a constant field as well, but the direction of that E field is going to be going into the negative charge. So in the vicinity of this second sheet, there will be an E field, let's call it E2, that will be, em that will be uh, terminating inward on this negative sheet of charge. In the vicinity where these two fields are between the two sheets, these fields are actually going to be in the same direction. So we're actually going to have a situation where E1 is going, as I've drawn it, to the right, and E2 will also be going to the right between these two sheets. So we just have to find the magnitude of these two fields and add them together, and then we will get the total field in between these two sheets. Okay, so E1 is equal to sigma 1 over 2 epsilon naught. That's going to equal 0.2 nanocombs, 0.2 times 10 to the minus 9, over 2 times epsilon naught, 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. That's going to give me an electric field, see, 0.2 times 10 to the minus 9 divided by 2 divided by 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12, 11.3 newtons per coulomb. And as I've drawn it between these sheets, that is to the right. The other field, E2, is going to be equal to sigma 2 over 2 epsilon naught. And sigma 2 is a negative 0.6 nanocombs per meter squared, but I've already determined the direction of it. So I just need the magnitude of this field. So it's 0.6 times 10 to the minus 9 um, coulombs over 2 times 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. So that is going to give me, well, it should be 3 times the other field, but let's just do it. 0.6 times 10 to the minus 9 divided by 2 divided by 8.85 to the negative 12, and that is 33.9 newtons per coulomb. And that is also to the right as we look between these two sheets. So these two fields are in the same direction. They're adding together. So our net field is going to equal E1 plus E2. That would be 11.3 plus 33.9, which will be 45.2 newtons per coulomb, and as I've drawn it, this field will be to the right, 45.2 newtons per coulomb between these two sheets.